Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, dear wonderful listeners and viewers from across the world. Thank you so much for your subscription, and thank you for always being there. Please, I would like to encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has warned Nigerian security operatives and unknown gunmen in the country to desist from killing innocent people in the southeast or face the wrath of the group. IPOP alleged that the nation's army and police are still silently killing residents of the region. The group stated that the victims are mostly arrested and killed by soldiers and police officers who tag them as members of the Eastern Security Network to execute their ethnic cleansing agenda in the region. It also accused the Nigerian security forces of feeding the public with lies by saying it invaded the Eastern Security Network camps adding that no member of the group was missing. IPOP disclosed this in a statement by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, made available to Sahara reporters on Wednesday. Ima Powerful mentioned in the statement that the people of Oporo and Omontaze in Olu, Imo State, are being killed by unknown men, unknown gunmen. We, the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, ably led by our great leader, Mazi Namdekanu, hereby caution those who call themselves unknown armed men rampaging communities in Biafra land, particularly those killing innocent people in Oporo and Omontaze in Olu local government area, Imo State, to immediately stop the ethnic cleansing or brace for mass resistance by the people. The Nigerian police should stop parading innocent people and tagging them as the Eastern Security Network personnel because there is nobody looking for missing person or there is nobody looking or anybody missing in IPOP. Parading innocent people and tagging them Eastern Security Network members shows that the Nigerian police and the army have failed it and don't know their job. Since Nigeria abandoned their duty and focus on dishing false information to the public, we are out to expose them with their covert lies. Those you paraded to the public are not Eastern Security Network members. Nigeria must stop ridiculing itself in the world because everyone is watching their activities. The Nigerian police must release those depicted and tag them Eastern Security Network operatives or charge them to court. The Eastern Security Network is a special people ordained by God Almighty Chukwu Biama, which Nigeria army and police will not approach where they are, it said. The group also said that Nigerian army, police, and other security agencies cannot reach or enter the Eastern Security Network camp. Adding that the information both have been given to the public is false. If the secret genocide is not halted, both the perpetrators and their supporters and sponsors will be dealt with in no distant future. It is regrettable that some shameless politicians would connive with the oppressors to kill their own who committed no crime other than demanding their freedom from the Nigerian contraption. These efulefus and evil politicians decided to sponsor Nigerian army and police to attack innocent Biafrans in Olu and other places in Biafra land to implicate IPOP and the Eastern Security Network, the statement reads. IPOP accused the Imo State Governor, Hope Uzadema, 
and other politicians in the region of conniving with the security agents to kill innocent people. It stated that the security forces are disguising as unknown gunmen to massacre people, but declared to resist the genocide and retaliate if they do not stop. I pub in a statement titled, The Secret Genocidal Attacks on Biafrans by the Nigerian security agents disguising as unknown armed men must stop. IPOP vowed to check the attacks. Today, the Nigerian army and police are killing our people, burning their houses and blaming their ab abominable actions on unknown gunmen. We therefore warn them to stop this madness or they will be testing the will of our gallant Eastern Security Network operatives. The unprovoked attacks by the Nigerian army and police on innocent Biafrans citizens under the guise of unknown armed men must stop or the monsters will consume those that created them. IPOP will no longer allow the ongoing secret genocide against hapless Biafrans by the wicked Nigerian security agencies and their collaborators. We are warning politicians and traitors amongst us supporting this evil agenda to call it quits or brace up for the wrath of the people. We are aware that Fulani terrorists in Abuja instructed Hope Uzadema to create them or who created them to implicate IPOB and Eastern Security Network, but we will prove to them that we are smarter. It is ridiculous to think that IPOB, which has been operating for many years now, will suddenly start killing people, the statement added. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular this story and um, opinion by the IPOB? IPOB has threatened the Nigerian army and police and even unknown gunmen over the killings in the southeast because truly the killings is becoming something else you know well it remains to be seen what will happen eventually at the end of the day but please guys drop by at the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories and endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.